everybody, it's all. It's me, it's Kobayashi. How's everybody doing? Hope you are well. It is that time of month again. Clan battle for July 2024. On well, this month, instead of doing one long video for all five of the bosses we are fighting, we're going to try doing a short video for each individually. So this is video one for our first boss this month, which is the Great Goblin. Now this is first clan battle. I do believe we had an announcement a few weeks ago saying that they are going to be scaling everybody's characters to your character level, to your um, count level. Try and stop min max and try and stop people from uh, purposefully lowering the level of their characters, not leveling them up, so that they get more TP from attacks, lowering their defense a little bit. I don't know if that's going to make too much of a difference. This clan battle, I don't see many people talking about it now, and it's something to maybe bear in mind. So, boss one. Now, this month is the Great Goblin, who is weak to fire and is weak to light. If we have a look at his base elemental weaknesses here, they are even across the board, so nothing too unusual there. Let's bring up the details about this boss and have a look at him in a little bit more detail. So here we have Goblin Brave is the EN name, even though if you do read the Japanese there, it says Goblin Greato. So it's Great Goblin, we call him Great Goblin. Like we said, he is weak to fire and light. He is a single target boss and a physical boss. And if we look, it's D, uh, D is tier four. That's the one that we are most interested in. But across the board, he has less magical defense than he does physical defense. If we have a look at some of the skills he has got, he is dealing physical damage to the nearest enemy and inflicting a stun. Might have a little bit of an annoying stun on this. Raising his own physical attack and physical defense. Also a stun on his skill two there. To the nearest enemy might be a little bit annoying, but let's have a look at some of the teams that we have got this month to take on this first boss, the Great Goblin. So let's have a look at some of the teams we have got to take on the Great Goblin this month. We're going to have a look at the Akarumi teams, and then we're going to have a look at the Worry Chef Google Docs because they are slightly different. There are some teams on one that are not on the other. So, as we've said, the Great Goblin here, weak to fire and to wind. So let's send in my team, the top team here, for the Great Goblin. It's a bit of a mixture here. We have got a mixture of light, dark, fire and wind in it. This is where the Sumaraho is being used. Her unique equipment too does seem to be pretty good for her. Making her useful for this Great Goblin boss in clan battle. 160 million damage for a full manual team here. It looks like we can get with that one. Probably the best team you can run. There is another fire team there with some Anaya. And the Nefinera in it underneath it, which is also another good team. The uh, Summer Maho featuring in a lot of these teams here. I have seen, however, if you've got Anan Bray, not the Summer Maho, perhaps you could use them instead and get a similar result. That is something worth noting. There we are a few dark characters. Also in them, these teams here, we've got Carol, uh, Princess Carol, Warlock, Vegeta. Even off elements, they are doing an okay job. This is the team I am running here. A light magical team. If you can't build the top team, then maybe this is an option to go for. It has got Kururu in it and the Dream Park Maho. Two of the newer characters that we have been given released into the game so possibly you could build that if not there are a few other dark teams at the bottom that do okay damage this dark magical team is looking like it is pretty good actually even being able to be quite effective off element but certainly the top team for this boss has got the new summer maho in it so let's jump over to the Worry Chef Docs and have a look at some of the teams again that we have got there and a little bit of detail of some of the timeline. So here we are on the Worry Chef Google Docs. The link will be in the description. This has got a lot of teams for the bosses that we are fighting. Some of them are a little bit different. Some of them are here that are not there. These are all of the automatic teams for this boss one here, the Great Goblin. 
a lot of them are very similar to what was on Akarumi. There are maybe a few little minor differences here. What is missing is the light team that I use, the light magical team that I use. It was on Akarumi. If you don't have all of these characters or enough characters to build these teams, you may want to have an alternative. That light team maybe didn't do quite as much damage as some of these teams were doing, which is why it hasn't made it here. It looks like this team here with the Summer Maru in it at the top is. However, the optimal team to be using against the Great Goblin if you can build it. This is the automatic variation. Let's have a look at some of the timelines for manual, simple manual, which will do a little bit more damage than running them automatically. So here are some of the simple timelines for the Great Goblin using this team here with the Summer Maho in it. There are a couple of options there getting a little bit more damage if you can do the second one there 145 million damage there is also here a timeline for the fire physical team as well which if you can then run that team instead of the top one you can't run the top one is the second best option to run for the great goblin if you can use that so let's just have a look over at the summary damage for this great goblin boss so here we have summary for the great goblin boss here with the maximum damage it seems like we could get 153.8 million manually with that summer Maho team so if you have here and you can build that team good luck to you with that hopefully you can take on this great goblin boss without too much trouble good luck to everybody who is going to choose this boss as one of the ones they are going to be taking on in clown battle let me know how you've done with them if you find this boss a little bit tricky maybe some more teams will become apparent as the clan battle progresses there we are i am to koreashi thank you very much for watching i'll see you all again for another video bye 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 bye, bye. Hey, hey, hey check out boss number two which is also up next <laughs>